under the Democrat Party, under the Democrat brainwashing. We've also got footage of armed, and the best I can describe it, an armed militia or armed cartel crossing over the southern border. This is shocking stuff. We're going to have it all in the second hour, including breaking news when it comes to the hashtag walk away march. We're going to get exclusive breaking news from Brandon Strzok. You may have heard this by now, but he is now being banned from social media unbelievable stuff the censorship continues ladies and gentlemen free speech still dead in america uh roger stone we're about to take phone calls here anything you'd like to add before we go to the callers well uh you know brandon straka i think has done a great service for his country and i'm deeply concerned about these reports that they're beginning to ban him on social media uh, what's their objection? Uh, he is uh, one who was once a liberal, once a Democrat, and he's woke, as they say. He's now speaking the truth. That's his First Amendment right. Why uh, are they banning him? Well, because his views are not politically correct. He's not down with the political views of the slave masters at Facebook or Twitter or uh, any any another number of these social media platforms that you sign up for with the promise that they're going to be the town hall or the town square, only finding out that they censor you. So good luck to Brandon Straka, who I think is a great patriot. Uh, oh, and I'm looking forward to some of your uh, videos. They sound incredible. But I know we get a great reaction when we open the phone lines and questions now for either Owen no, I'm busy. or myself. Uh, we're happy to hear what's on your mind because we here at InfoWars believe in a two-way dialogue. You won't get that virtually any place else on the Internet. So, Owen, fire away. Let's go to the War Room hotline and see what we have. All right, we've got Teresa calling in from Massachusetts to lead us off. Go ahead, Teresa. Hi, Owen. Hi, Roger. Hello. Thanks for calling. Hi. I was calling because I just received a text for a poll for President Trump, and I had to put down <laughs> that it was poor because we have lost that free speech watch. And I'm trying to figure out when he's going to step up and defend us, as he promised. Yeah, you know, Roger, l let me put it to you like this way, because I hear Teresa's frustration, and I, and I actually would agree with her. While I support Trump, and I think he's done a great job, and I'm not going to take away from the fact he's the best president in modern history, I, I do sit here and I see free speech being attacked. I see these antitrust violations happening. Uh, we see the Democrats getting violent. And, you know, I understand that Trump isn't there to do everything. That's not the president's role. However, I mean, he is aware of it. He said it's illegal. So I think that Teresa has a fair beef here to try to get the president's attention and say, hey, look, president, your base is upset. They're being censored right now. All right, guys, let's pull Teresa down. Uh, I don't know if she can hear me or not. Roger, go ahead. Uh, you know, Owen, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, if you watch the Alex Jones show today, you know that I said that despite this great economic job the president is doing, despite the incredible record of bringing America back, I wish he wouldn't get into the gutter in the New York Times and their phony op-ed that was written by nobody. Uh, I wish he wouldn't get into the gutter with Bob Woodward, a known, proven liar who just makes things up to sell books and to discredit the Trump presidency. I'd like to see the president do three things. One, talk about the great economic set, success he's bringing back to America. Two, declassify all the documents pertaining to the phony FISA warrants and the fact that the Obama Department of Justice and the uh, Obama FBI were illegally, unconstitutionally spying on the presidential campaign of Donald Trump. And three, take action against those who are censoring InfoWars 
across all InfoWars uh, media platforms. It's not that it's about InfoWars. We're just the test case. Alex Jones is just the test case because if they can strangle the First Amendment rights of Alex Jones, who will be next? Sean Hannity, Tucker Carlson, Rush Limbaugh, Mark Simone. These are great patriots whose programming I love. They should not think that they are next on the tech left hit list. So yes, Mr. President, time to stop talking. Time to direct your Justice Department to take action. All right, Teresa. Uh, sorry, we got disconnected with you. Thanks for the call. Let's go to Dino calling in from Michigan. Go ahead, Dino. Gentlemen, pleasure to be on with you today. 